Good day and welcome to the very first episode of Redeemed. The Bible in Psalms 107 verse 2 says, Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. We are therefore on about getting testimonies from all over the country, from people who have been inspirational to you. We are here to encourage you, to inform you, and to uplift you. Today, I'm joined by an amazing songwriter. He's a gentleman. He's not married. Hint, hint. <laughs> and he has toured all over America. He's been to the States. He's gone to the UK, Australia, Kenya, and he's such an energetic bunch. We thank God for his life in the gospel music industry. Ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome Timbalome! <laughs> My brother from another mother. Hey, thank you, thank you so much for having me for the first episode. You see, my sister, one thing I like about you, listen to the word. You made me the first fruits, eh? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have fun. Mama, We're going to have made. fun. Yeah, Mama, we made it in life. We are now on the first episode of the team. My brother from another mother, yes, thank yes. you for coming. No, thank you so it's much for such having such an honor to have you here. I'm, I'm really excited. Yeah. So, um, Temba, extra large. Burning bush. I did my research. Okay, okay. Burning bush, extra large. <laughs> Tell me about that. No, um, burning bush, bush was like the first group I was in. Um, it was uh, a gospel group. It was fun. We were just kids playing around. We went to a studio, and it was. I think it was one of the uh, only professional studios around. Where to come from, Chitungiza to Eastley, mm. and. It was an interesting experience because that was my introduction to recording in essence and I, I had no clue what I was doing. Um, one of my friends just booked a studio and said I need help, just come and help me because I was singing in cell. He was like, I think you can help me. That brother's me. got a voice. Yeah, he was like, I, 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 I didn't even, I didn't think I even had a voice. I was just making noise. I think I was the loudest. So he was like, yeah, I think yeah. I can put this, this, this noise maker to use. So I went there and we got into the studio and this guy was, um, he, he, he was, I, I can say he was a mentor in some way because he started doing something that we had no clue and we were just you know some boys in Chitungwisa just chilling by the corner doing that thing and just waiting to go to sell Wednesday mm -hmm. and he introduced me to something that I really thank God for his life now mm -hmm. back then I didn't understand what was going on but now I realized that this was like the first first introduction mm -hmm. of me getting into a studio mm -hmm. and this was the studio that I think Innocent Luzo Coach, I was one of the biggest artists at that time. That's when you recorded in my dream. What was the name of the studio? It was, I think, Tony's Digital. It was um, around Eastleigh somewhere. Mm. And how many were you in the group? Uh, there was a lot of us. The, it, it, yeah. I think we were twelve, or yeah, a crazy number like that. It and was I, just. And, and I, I, I can for just, good. I can just imagine how you came up with the name, name Burning Bush. It, it was that that guy again. Okay, who came up with like we're gonna be the burning bush? Um, so yeah, we, we we're gonna do hot stuff. Yeah, like yeah, we, <laughs> yeah. we thought we were so cool in our white jeans and white oh shirts. It was everyone. It was like a white party in the oh video. And the first time it came out on ZBC, it was a party. You will you would not even speak to me. I think I greeted people with sticks like yeah, 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 I, I did learn a lot and then um, I started doing secular music which is another experience mm. so um, back in Chitungisa I met one of my friends his name was Victor and we just some cool guys you know hanging out with a backyard studio back, back in the day it was you had already you had your own studio after the Tony Whoever. Yeah, yeah. No, this was not mine. This was like there's a guy who was like in the hood he had like a computer it was a P3 I think it was it was, the, it was it was it is this you know this screen that is you know those big 
got screens <laughs> and it was connected to his hi-fi that was those were like the sound monitors and we got in there and we we made some tunes and then we took them to this guy who was like managing extra large it's like we need to get you into the studio mm. together so that is the time that got chapter two of my music career mm. so there I, I i really thank god for those guys because I learned a lot, I learned how to manage a band mm. because I was part of a band, mm. but I wasn't the, like the, the guy was in the front. Mm. We, me and Victor were like more more in the back and the two extra large guys were running the band, they mm. run rear sounds and all these things. So it was a good ride because we got to see how to run a band, how not to run a band, mm. see the pitfalls, the, what, what, what to do, what not to do, uh, maintaining relationships. They really They were really good with relationships with the people they worked with so that was that was a plus so mm. i got to learn a lot from those yeah. guys and one thing about secular music which is different from gospel is there is um there's some acceptance that comes with gospel because you're singing about jesus yeah. and we don't really we're not really tough we're not a tough crowd okay. even if you don't sing well you're like oh that was beautiful yeah. even if it was off key uh, but um, secular music, if you're singing off-key, you're just singing off-key, you're just told, bro, you're mm -hmm. singing off-key, mm -hmm. what is wrong with you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, some people can even throw in some case words in there, yeah. because so all it's, the... It's a tough training ground. It, it's a tough training ground, but for me it was good, mm -hmm. because I got to learn, because the crowds in a secular setting, they don't care, they just want to be entertained. Mm -hmm. So if you are not entertaining, they will just throw cans at you. So when you go there, you have to get your act together. You have to deliver. I'm glad I'm not a secular musician. We are going to bring cans to church soon because. <laughs> no, 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 I'm good. I'm not a secular musician. So it was a brilliant ex wow. experience, yeah. Wow, that's great. Yeah. So, Temba, you have toured many places. All mm -hmm. the places that I said I'm sure were correct. That's your Kenya, your US. Yeah. What I want to know is how do people accept you there? How do they receive you? Okay. Or in co in comparison with how we receive you here in your home country. I, I think um, I, would, I would relate it to when Jesus went back to Nazareth mm. and people didn't accept him. Mm -hmm. And he said the prophet is with uh, without honor in his own home. Um, I think that's that's what happens. Like when I So you're saying we're not accepting you? No, you are, but there's a difference. <laughs> like, Those are accepting yeah, yeah. Dignity. You you I think it, it also goes with, with family, like my brother. Mm. My, my, my brother, when he's at work, he's a boss, and everyone's like, you know, mm. when, when he comes home, he's like, ah, put his ten, shut up. Exactly. You know what I mean? So that's the same thing when, when I'm at home, when the people around me, they don't see the change that's mm. happening in my life. Exactly. But it's only the people that don't know you. Because if you look at maybe big artists like um, Johnny McClurkin, mm. if you go to his hometown, he's, he's, just, do, he's just Johnny from he's the block. Johnny. So, um, but you know what, just to, to cut you on that, what I've learned is the way people receive you uh, still is something in your spirit, man. It does. It does. It, it, it does. And, and things happen. You'll be surprised that sometimes miracles don't happen at home. When that, you that's, sing at that's, home. That's so but true. out there, miracles are like... Yeah, they, and you they're, wonder what's happening, but I guess it's the condition of the hearts yeah, that you are ministering. Yeah, there are people that are ready to receive, mm. I would say. Mm. I've gone into places where I'm singing my Shona worship song, mm. and none of them understand what yeah. I'm talking about. But they still connect, and some of them get healed, some of them give their life to Christ. I'm like, but you didn't even get what I was saying. Exactly. But don't do the dam dam turu. You never know. <laughs> it's just difficult now to do that because of you know Facebook and stuff. People will exactly, share people it. will share, and then yeah, yeah, and yeah. then someone is like, "Chemo, yeah." I'll say, I'll, I'll have to say, switch off your cell phones uh, for the duration of the service. <laughs> because they are not this, in this. Place. Yes, yes. You you Doesn't quote mean. some verses first. Yes. This is going to be. <laughs> Miracle service. Oh my lord. So, okay. no so Temba, yeah. coming back to, to praise, we were talking about um, mm -hmm. praise and worship. I, I said our scripture of the day was enter his gates with thanksgiving mm -hmm. and into his cause with praise. Mm -hmm. You are one person I know who is very energetic, who is very, you know, mm -hmm. engaging with the, the people when you're, when you're worshiping and when you're singing. Mm -hmm. well, how do you differentiate uh, praise and worship? You know, 
in our churches and all. We think mm -hmm. praise is the first first songs, da -da 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 -da. Mm -hmm. and then that's praise. And then when the songs get slower, it's now worship. How do you? Is that what praise and worship means to you? Um, textbook would say praise is uh, is is when you, when you thank God for what what He has done mm -hmm. and for um, who He is in your life. Mm -hmm. So there are some slow songs that are actually praise, exactly. but in church we just say uh, it's praise song is slow, it's worship. If it's fast, it's praise. Mm -hmm. But praise is actually just thanking the Lord for what He has done. done, and worship is vertical, mm -hmm. like you are just connecting with God. God. So worship is more, praise is just thanking God for what he has done. Mm -hmm. But worship is a two-way um, communication. You, mm -hmm. you, you you open your heart to God, you, you minister before him and he also ministers to you. Mm -hmm. So God is speaking, you are speaking, so there's an exchange there. Mm -hmm. So that's that's my understanding. I'm not saying that's how everyone no, should define we, it. No, and we would want to hear your understanding. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I hear sometimes people say, oh, you're such a worshiper. And I think, okay, what about that? Is there someone who will say, you're such a praiser? Um, <laughs> I, I think what, one of the, the issues that we have yeah. in church is also emotions play a part. Exactly. There are some people that are very emotional, like me. Mm. I cry a lot. Like, I'm, I'm a cryer. I can really? just start crying right now. Oh. If you say cry right now, I can just, you know, <laughs> it's just, um, I don't know what's yeah. going on. Just, the tears, they just... So um, if you're someone like that, if you start leading worship and then you start crying yeah. and everybody feels, oh my goodness, he's so touched by God, but no, I'm but just emotional. Okay. So people usually connect to someone's emotions. Okay. And I'm not saying there's something wrong with that. Mm. Sometimes it's good mm. because it help, if it helps someone connect with God, then it is good. Mm. But that doesn't make your heart connect with God. With God. It's, it's just your emotions. Sometimes we've just mastered the art of yeah, yeah. worshipping God, but we're not actually doing Definitely, it. Definitely, like mm. for, for some of us, we've been in the church for more than 20 mm. years, yeah. so we can speak good, good Christianese, we can go deeper, we can even write a Christian Bible, mm. Yeah, put all the words in there, make it sound cool. But God is concerned with the condition of our hearts mm. and not Definitely. just singing yeah, yeah. and working on people's emotions. Yeah, so if you if you look at David, he was named a man after God's own heart because he made himself vulnerable before God mm -hmm. and he expressed himself with an open heart to say, God, this is me mm -hmm. and I, with all this, I still want to worship you yeah. in, even though he was sometimes in tribulation and trials mm -hmm. and all these things. So I, I, I think that's where, where it is really. Mm. to be able to be vulnerable before God and really expose yourself. Wow, interesting. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll take a short break and we're still with you. called you by name and he loves you. I'm still joined by my brother here, Temba Lami. I call him Lami. That's good. You never told me you don't like it, so I still call No, him Lami. Lami is good. Lami. Yeah. It's got a ring to it. It's got Lami. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, so, and we were talking about praise and worship and all those things that make us Christians, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Temba Lami. I've never heard anyone else call Temba Lami. Oh, there are lots of Timbalamis. Really? Yeah. What does it mean? It... Well, I think Timbalami is more of, you know, those African names that I just picked out of a sentence. Okay. Yeah, like love more or give more. Oh, yeah, because Timbalami means trust in. So it depends, it now depends on which context you can, it can be. We, we Timbalami, uh, Kosiami, then yeah, trust in you, my lord, or we Timbalami, Taliwami. It, it has gone astray. So it's one of those in the in the middle of a statement kind of names and 
So it means trust in something. Yeah. Yeah. So you could be trusting in money. In in beg, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in beg. All right, my brother. So one question or one one issue that really is so much in my inbox is about collaborations. Okay. Yes. What is your take on collaborations? I think I think collaborations are great. Mm. They I've, I've I've collaborated with different artists and I've even collaborated in songwriting. Mm. There is um, a shift of, of perspective when, when, you collaborate. when you collaborate. Like when I'm writing a song, sometimes I write a song according to my experience. Mm. But when I say Janet, I am, I've written the first verse and the chorus, mm. I need a second verse. Mm. The stuff that you write is coming. I bring in my own experience. Your own experience and your own feel. We need and to write a song together. I need your experience. Yeah, yeah, you love offering me. <laughs> so, but I just called you my brother. Ah, uh, okay, oh. I'll give you a brother. <laughs> <a bit. laughs> no, but um, okay. um, I, I really love to collaborate. Okay, I, I do. Mm. I, I, I think that's one of the one of the things that that has blessed me a lot. Mm. Like when I'm playing a song that I've collaborated with someone, mm. when I get to the verse that someone, someone else, wrote, else it it ministers. It, it ministers to me wow. because it 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 gets me out of that place of mm. uh, me, me and exactly. I start seeing wow. life in a whole different mm. direction and that's amazing actually. Amazing. Yeah. But just to put a twist on it, mm. are there any collaborations that you've done that you turn back and say, I wish I hadn't done that collaboration? Um, you don't have to give me the name. So far, so far, no. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I haven't. Are you trying to be politically correct? In a way, <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. But for real, for real, <laughs> for real, okay. I haven't, I haven't done any collaboration that I haven't done that many collaborations okay. either. Oh yeah. Because I'm one of those people that um, I, 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 I collaborate with mostly friends. Mm -hmm. and people that I know and mm -hmm. some of the times I, I just feel like every song that mm -hmm. I write mm -hmm. I am a servant to the song like I do what the song wants mm -hmm. so sometimes when I write a song and someone wants to collaborate with me on it if I'm not seeing how they best fit into the song or if someone calls me to say let's collaborate on a song mm -hmm. if I'm not seeing myself fit into the song mm -hmm. then I might just mess it up for that exactly. artist so I'll say exactly. you know what I've heard your song mm -hmm. but I am not seeing how I fit into it, so I don't think I would be the best person for it. Why don't you try this person? I think they can bring out a better element from it. Exactly. Once we do that, we get better music, and exactly. better music means we get to win more souls for Christ. So I believe that we, are, we have to make the song the king, exactly. and then we all save the song so that we get this baby to grow. I like yeah. that, I like that. I really believe in meaningful collaboration. Definitely. Temba, my mm -hmm. next question is, okay. which song connects you to God always? Like for me, um, it doesn't matter what has happened, mm -hmm. but if I listen to Bow Down and Worship Him, okay. I connect to God. Do you have a song like that? Hush. The problem with me is I have songs for seasons. Okay. That, that's, I think that's my issue. Like mm -hmm. There was a season when I was in into for your glory i'll do anything mm. and it was my song every day. every day and then there was a time that i was into no longer slaves it was mm. every day i'm no longer slave to fear and then there was my hill song time but don't then, you have an old time like which you can look back and say maybe this so, one even if it comes to maybe play. maybe trading my sorrows okay. there's, there's this is something about that song i love it i think i, I have like eight versions of that song Let's okay. just do a bit of it. One, two, three, go. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Amen. I'll sing it again, sing it again. Say, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Amen. Amen and amen and amen and amen. I think that's my all time. That's, that's, that's like my all time. Okay. Any version, like reggae version, you, uh, this is version. version. They are all versions. I've got all can versions. You, can you play the, the reggae version? Yeah. We're saying yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Yes, 
Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, amen. Yeah, man, let me take you to Jamaica. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I always picture a Jamaican church. Yeah, yeah. How, how, how they would how sing. How do they sing? They, 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 they recognize everything. Okay. It's, it's amazing. Even that is a... They, yeah, they'll do a, a, a reggae that is mm. Yeah, that'll be very interesting. interesting. I would love to see you do that. <laughs> <laughs> but right. it's um, okay. it's, it's it's interesting. I I think we we underestimate the power mm. that such songs like "Trading My Soul" exactly. have. It's just those simple songs, simple words. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes Lord. Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. So there are times that you just want to say yes. Lord, so I, I was, it blows my mind every time. I'm like, how did someone write, write something like that? I, I sent Daryl Evans a message, I was like, my brother, explain to me. How? Something special would have happened in their lives, I think. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, so um, before we go to the next part of our show, mm -hmm. just because you're unredeemed, okay. what does redemption mean to you? Redemption songs, these songs. Okay, sorry, sorry. We are going to post show. Apologies. Um, I am still Minister Timbalani. Worshipper Yes, yes, yes. Salmist. Yeah. Um, redemption for me is realizing how how to be free. There are so many things that bind us without even understanding it. You can be bound by money. You can be bound by TV, mm. you can be bound by food even. Mm. So redemption is, I think the, the people that started saying you need to learn to fast said something amazing. Mm. Because the moment you start to realize that you can actually stop doing something and still continue living your life like you never had it in your life. Mm. Because you've got Christ who is enough for you. That's, that's redemption for me. So, Paul explains it well. Mm. Like, he could be in chains, but he's still free. Yeah. I think that's the best freedom you can ever get. So, that that's the redemption of Christ. Mm. You are redeemed. He sets you free in a way that is unexplainable. Because even you're in prison, you're still in chains, but you're still free. That's, I think that's amazing. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Thank you so much. Uh, we have been talking to Temba Lami and... I believe you've had a great time, just like I have. So just before you go, Tembalami, mm -hmm. we've got one more, I've got one more trick up my sleeve. Okay. We're gonna play a game. Okay. Um, you will sing for me the first song, or say the song that comes to your head. Okay. Once okay. I mention the, the, the name. Okay. Or the thing. Okay. Then you tell me which song. Okay. Any, any song. Any song, okay. Uh, Jesus, Jesus, lover of my soul, Jesus, I will never let you go. Okay, that's a different one. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I, I grew up in a, in a uh, uh, I want to hear which song is it? Ah, it's special, okay. Oh, that's a different one. Uh, oh, easy, okay. It, 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 it was just there, like you, you, okay. Yes, yes, that's what yeah, I want. Yeah, okay. Um, President Emerson Mnanga, uh, that one, where am I now? But that's not a song, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not song. <laughs> okay, first of all, I need to show whatever it takes. I will praise the Lord. I think that that is one of the greatest <laughs> gospel songs ever yeah, written, yeah, ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's my all season song. I think okay. that entry, that entry, my sorrows. Okay. Ish. Okay. I, I, okay. Give me a song. Yeah, 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 we're still in the game. Okay, we're okay, sorry, sorry. Joseph Madimba. Mm. Don't say kudu, kudu, kudu. <laughs> you're, you're, you're keeping my style now. <laughs> What up, fool? We love the same name, Katacho. That's the song I thought about. Okay. So, yeah. the next person is Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela. Uh, freedom is coming tomorrow. Yay! 
yes, 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 yes. Freedom is coming tomorrow. <laughs> yes. I, I love that song. Yeah. It was amazing. Okay. Okay. okay, but it's not part of your all it's, time. That, no, this one is not my all time. I just love the facial expressions right. of this guy. Like, Yes. I was like, oh. So, um, I, I just wanted to ask you something else. I, okay. I, I know I took you out of your busy schedule. Mm -hmm. How busy are people out there? Sometimes people are just like, yeah, I'm busy, I'm busy, I'm busy. Are people really busy? No, we are. Mm. There's, there's, there are people that are busy, but they, are not, they don't have results. Oh, yeah. so you might be hauling the whole day. Yeah. You might just be barking the whole day, but... Yeah. Have you ever seen ants when they're mm. moving around in a house and then you startle them? Mm. They just go around without going anywhere. Like... So sometimes we're busy, but not we are not Yeah, busy. There's, there's a time in my life where I actually had to think, what am I doing? Mm. Why did I drive to town this morning? Mm. And I realized I was just, I was not just busy being busy. I wish you a productive 2018. Amen. Let us not be busy, but not mm. doing anything at all. Let us be efficient, let us be productive, and let us give glory to God, and let us be good stewards for the life that He's given us to live one more year. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, my name is Janet Manoa, your host, and I was with Lame, Timbalame. And um, please follow Timbalame. Timbalame has got an album coming out. Yes, Do you yes, have yes. the name of the album? The album is called The Fight. The Fight. Yes. Fight. Fight. <laughs> Fight. I think you can just see. I, I think we should, we should you, do you, an you, interview. You can just see. Should, I, 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 I'm actually, you actually gave me an idea. Uh -huh. I'm going to do an interview with the album. Ladies and gentlemen, please just, just excuse my brother. After the show, I'm going to lay hands on him yes, and yes. he's going to lay yeah. hands on so, me so that we have normal people. Yeah. So please the album follow is called The Fight, the fight. Yeah. and it's going to be out in 10th of February. 10th of February. Yes. 10th of February, yes. the fight will be out. Mm -hmm. And uh, do support local music, guys. Mm -hmm. Let's stop this and this and all this and all business. Yes, yes, yes. Say something, Mama. Papa. Yeah, I think pa this and all, we don't go to meet a love of fighting. Exactly. We talk about two Social media pages. Yes, yes. You are everywhere. Twitter, yeah. Facebook. Everything Tembalami. Everything so, Tembalami. Tembalami on Twitter, Tembalami on uh, Facebook, Tembalami on Instagram, Tembalami.com on the website. So everything Tembalami. Just, everything is Tembalami. Yeah. And the Tembalami doesn't have an H. No H. It's T-E. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tembalami, not Tembalami. Because, because the H <laughs> would represent Harare. So I realized I wanted to go international. Oh. So I had to remove the Harare. No, you've got vision. Man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Vision. So ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> please follow Tembalami on all his social media pages. And please follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and everywhere. It's just Janet Manoa. You've been watching Redeemed, and before we sign out, we're just going to hear some ministry from Minister Lami, <coughs> who is here with me, and he's going to sing the song. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Take it away. <coughs> Shall we lie? 